How's it going everyone? I'm a got 365 and welcome to part 6 of our Game Dev Tycoon Let's Play. Alright, so last time we made Funky Beats LMAO, which sold quite a bit. Uh, yeah, profit 2.3 million. We have a pretty decent amount of money. Um, and I believe uh, we have enough to create a new engine, actually. Or did we just do it, actually? One second. Yeah, that's the thing. It's kind of, um, I haven't, anyway, I haven't found a way to actually tell what features are in an engine. But yes, we did make an engine that we meant as space, but made a hilarious spelling error. Alright, so let's get in a uh, mystery adventure game going. That's pretty good for the PC, I believe. Saps. He's fine, I think. A adventure. Alright. Medium. 3D graphics V2. Nice. Could probably after this try and see if there's a publisher so we can get our fans up. We're not don't have too many of them. High gameplay, high story, I believe. Just get both of that in there. Not much engine will turn. Well, we'll have a save game save game option just for RP purposes, but let's see. Ralph has gameplay. All right, Deborah can get engine. And Bill here can get stories and quests. Okay. Get all the gameplay elements as well. Alright, that's good. That's stage one. A pretty decent amount of um, points already. Send Ralph on vacation. Already building a little hype. Um, dialogue's way up. High level design, low artificial intelligence. Get level editor in there. Um, Ralph can do dialogue again. No, I'll do it actually since I have the highest and it's the most important. I'll do dialogue. Bill can do level design. And I mean, yeah, and then I guess Deborah can actually do artificial intelligence and then Bill will get level design. Nice. Okay. So soon I'm going to. I like to do it about halfway anyway. Going to use that marketing that we unlocked um, a bit ago. A couple episodes ago, I guess. So yeah, make bad games sell even worse or whatever it said, something like that. We'll go with a large campaign, might as well. Just type it way up. Alright, so uh, Game Dab Tycooner had quite a few undiscovered bugs when he released it. Some of our customers were having a bad time with this and they demand that we patch the game. We could either spend the money and time to patch it or ignore their pleas. If you want to patch the game, then click on a character and use the action menu to develop a patch, but make sure that you don't wait for too long. I always develop a patch. It gives you some fans, I think. Um, we just lost some, actually. Um, it gives you fans, I believe. Um, you spend some money, you get some more fans. Um, I don't think you really lose anything. If you don't do it, besides, I guess, those fans we just lost, just know. But, um, yeah, I'd like to do it. Uh, world design, high sound, and then I think graphics can go... I'll just do, like, halfway, I guess. So, yeah, we'll do stereo sound. All world design options. That's fine. Uh, Bill, can you get... No, not quite. Can someone else here? want to wait. I guess he'd be the le least encumbered with that, if that's the right word for it. Um, so yeah, Bill will do world design, I will do graphics, and Ralph here can get sound. Alright, that's a good choice, I believe. This should turn out pretty good. Low on the technological side, though, however, so definitely going to be a um, record in design. Yeah, fix the bugs. In two months, the Vena gear will be taken off the market. I don't think we've actually ever got a license for it, so 
doesn't matter too much to us. These Nuts has recently released a much needed patch for Game Dab Tycooner. One fan said, I love companies like these Nuts. They don't just milk their customers for more money, but also understand our concerns and make sure that we enjoy our games. Nice. Alright. We'll quickly get a large booth, publish this, and then quickly, immediately start work on a uh, new game. Because I think once it's released, it has like a really minor effect on sales. Actually going to the convention. Well, if, well, when you're developing a game, you get a bunch of hype for it. Yeah, 10, first review. That's nice. 10, 9. Yeah, this is going to sell a lot. Great. 9. And very enjoyable. 8. Alright. Oh, we can develop sequels now. So, I, I like how I instantly forget what we just released. A mystery adventure game. Cost a bunch of money. Jeez. I think we'll release a... Actually, let's find a good one. A good sequel. Mm. Nah, let's see. Yeah, just trying to see one that sticks out. <laughs> YouTube Heroes, why not? YouTube Heroes 2. What's a good... What's a good, nice meme? Fell through, I guess. Whatever. Racing simulation. PC. Did we uh, actually get a... Um... No, we never even got the license. Okay. Alright, that's fine. 3D graphics, 3 2 Not a hugely popular game. Wow, that's really not selling. As much as I thought it would. Interesting. Yeah, the gameplay options. Let's see, simulation. High engine. Get all those options there. Low story and quests. But we're going to keep them the features. Because why not? Out. Oh, come on. There. Yeah. Alright, Deborah can get engine. That's fine. Ralph gameplay. Bill stories and quests that's great okay so yeah I'm not sure why it's not sale it should be selling I mean that's a pretty respectable amount but it should be selling a lot more I think all right here's a uh, convention second one we've um, been to I believe all right um just shy of 200,000 didn't still haven't made it into the top 100 boots but we do have a pretty decent amount of hype Mystery Adventure, great combination. Graphic, quite important. And PC Adventure Match, great. Alright, as figured. Another memorable game by These Nuts has been released. The attention to detail and the world design really sets this game apart from others in the genre. Simply one of the best games I've played. Christopher Rignall, eGaming Check. It's an odd name for a company. Alright, someone wants to do an interview. Expectation, probably a hype game, might as well. I usually always go with be modest, but who cares? Low dialogue. Uh, get rid of that, I guess. Level editor, okay. Ralph can do dialogues. Bill has design. Deborah, artificial intelligence, okay. Thanks for your time. So yeah, we have a ton more hype. Uh, that, um, not review article or whatever we got about it being a great game that has boosted our sales once again so it's going to sell more ah, okay uh, simulation I think graphics are about halfway something like that stereo sound probably just go open world I suppose uh, y'all do graphics um, I'll also do the sound, so he's not, yeah, and Bill has world design. I forgot to mark it with, um, the actual marketing option, but that's fine. It doesn't seem to impact the actual hype you get much. It seems to give very little. I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong or at a wrong time, because I usually do it when the game's about halfway in development. Um, 
so yeah, if you have any suggestions for that, that'd be great. Uh, try and milk out some more points. That's probably it. Let's release that. 192 hype. If you keep it, if you have hype and you keep it developing after you, um, it actually slowly starts to fade out. So yeah. Reach level 5 with the character. Okay. And release a successful game in each of the five main genres. Nice. Oh yeah, that's cool actually. That's um the first time I've unlocked that Steam achievement as well. Someone on your team has reached experience level 5. This unlocks a special trading item called Boost. The training for it is expensive and you can only do it once the character has at least 500 design or technology points. But the investment is well worth it. Just have to quickly check. Oh my, this is so unprofessional. Yeah, okay, we've been going about 10 minutes, that's fine. Once trained, the boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and can really help you to make a hit game. All right, Bill earns a raise and special training for me. I leveled up, okay. All right, 100 research points. Not going to research 3D graphics, definitely. I mean, 2D graphics. Get better AI. She can unlock, I mean, research branching story. Send this guy on vacation. And then we'll get to new topics, I suppose. Fantasy, there we go. Yeah, fantasy adventure and fantasy RPG games are super, super popular. A adventure sold 247,003 units, generating 2,717,000. 100 in sales nice first release for our newly re released game came out all right so it's better than the um original game i believe by a decent bit i think i think the first one is seven about seven or so all right so yeah another hit game believe i mentioned um possibly going with a publisher for our next game so these Nuts has recently released a sequel to their game YouTube Heroes. The newest game in the series titled YouTube Heroes 2 Fell Through was met with great responses. Critics praised that YouTube Heroes 2 Fell Through had a newer engine than the original, really driving technological innovation. Or technical innovation, whatever. In an exclusive interview a while ago, my name is Jeff from These Nuts, <laughs> made very bold remarks about their then in development game YouTube Heroes 2 Fell Through, predicting that it would be uber successful. Now that the game is out on the market, the consensus is hype. My name is Jeff was spot on, as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, this has had a positive effect on sales. Nice. And get another topic there, Medieval. That's nice. Maybe go with the publisher, see if there's um, like an any topic RPG or something like that. Yeah, nothing too great, I don't think. We're just going to create a fantasy RPG, not an action, RPG game for play system. It's great on there. Um, final quest fight for <laughs> 420. E for everyone. 3D graphics V2. Pretty good. Yeah, this one's selling pretty good. To an over... Um, quarter million in sales nice interesting way I'd pronounce sales just now mm, low engine yep high great gameplay max stories and quests get rid of that all story quests and here we go we need to remove um, something from the gameplay so I think I'll get rid of better user experience um, let's see, Deborah. she has engine, Ralph has gameplay, Bill has stories and quests, that's fine. These not surprise us again with a very enjoyable game. I rarely highlight the sound of a game instead of the many other noteworthy features, but in YouTube Heroes 2 fell through, the sound design was truly awe-inspiring. YouTube Heroes 2 fell through really deserves the top spot in the chart. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Longer Game Nova. Hit my phone there. So yeah, we've been releasing very successful games, which is always nice to see. We're going to get another staff member. 
Just gonna check our stack list, see, um, alright, there's me, tech person, uh, I think he's uh, supposed to be a designer, tech design, design, tech, design, design, so I guess we'll get another tech person, let's just go straight up 2 million, just like the best staff member we possibly can. Guess we shouldn't have done that mid-development because if we do hire someone, the um, our uh, efficiency will go way down. So that wasn't great to do it now, but oh well. Better dialogues, level editor. Ralph, I'll do dialogues. Deborah, Ralph can instead focus on AI, and Bill. That's a timer, and Bill can. Do design, yes. Just a minor change, and um, yeah. All right, so here we go. Eric Rice, interesting name. Matthew Roberts, he's great in technology. Danielle Diaz, Christopher Wolf, that's fantastic, actually. Huge amount of monthly fee, though, and literally just almost the best technology you can get. It's 40 grand a month, but I feel like we... Should I actually? Yeah, why not? Screw it. Instantly get some staff welcome training going on. Yeah, we'll generate the report after. So yeah, we, we lowered our efficiency, which means we won't get as much uh, points for this game. So it might possibly, I'm um, not fail, but lower ranked or whatever. So we all instant, not instantly. We are a bit over encumbered though. I like how I say over encumbered. Whatever. Who can change some things? Oh, we're doing both things. Okay, I see. Ralph can do sound. He'll be slightly over. We'll do graphics. And Bill, good old Bill, has role design. Um. Should actually ch remember to change sliders. Jeez. Lower that a little bit. Stereo sound. All these. Nice. Playing by myself. I just kind of set whatever and like don't care about how work someone is. I just kind of, you know, rush along. I've already played this main story like probably 12 times now or something. I don't know. Just something amazing like that. Alright, YouTube PRS2 fell through, sold 400,617 units, generating 4,406,871 in sales. Nice. Okay, this is definitely definite record for everything, even though our efficiency was down. Wait a bit. Oh, we forgot to mark it again. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. Level up gameplay. Ralph level up as well. Earn himself a raise. Oh, he hit a strong audience as well. So that's great, actually. Final fight. Final quest fight for 20. 8 played it for days. 9, almost perfect. 7, nice experience. And 8, love it. I think if we didn't hire a new staff member, um, like in the middle of development, it would have been a lot better. But, um... Yeah, cells are not the strongest. I'm not sure how how uh, good they're supposed like a decent. Well, it's not 10 out of 10. Oh well, whatever. Research a dialogue tree, and then level up our graphics once more, and then we'll make a new engine, I suppose. All right, Invento announced that their next generation console called TES64 today. Expected in the coming months, it is the world's first gaming console to, sp to sport 64-bit processors for graphics and audio. Ninvento said this will allow never-before-seen 3D realism. In recent years, the Super TES has lost a lot of market share to more modern consoles. Market experts said that the con hardware of the TES-64 is surely impressive, um, but expressed their surprise that it still uses ROM cartridges instead of the much cheaper and higher capacity CD-ROM format. 
I wonder why they didn't go to Inventor 64 instead of TES 64. Guess it would have been a bit too obvious, I don't know. Nevertheless, the TES 64 seems like an impressive console, and Inventos has said that it plans to aggressively price it against Bonnie's play system. Send this guy on vacation. Fantasy RPG, great combination, of course. Gameplay, quite important, and RPG play system, great. Additional insights, Pauline Zobek is new to the team, alright. Gameplay, very important. Story and quest, seems to... wait. Oh, that's another one. I was confused. I was like, how is story and quest not important for a RPG? Got some more research, um, not research, topics. Even though they're, some of the um, topics aren't the best, you unlock them just to try and get some better ones. And I guess it's always nice to have some options, even if... Um, lots of seems like quite a few players use illegal copies of Final Quest Fight 420. I've managed to identify some of them. We could either sue them to defend our copyright, or send them warnings to ask them to stop. What do you want to do? Warn them. Alright. Release a cracked version on day one to see how many would pirate the game instead of purchase it. Haha. <laughs> Topical Topical reference about what the game dev what Greenheart Games did. Design. Large booth, why not? And I'm going to end it here. Um thank you all for very much for watching part six of our game dev tycoon let's play. And I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.